Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So this right here that I'm sitting on is my brand new 2020 Toyota Tacoma TRD Off-Road 4x4. And you're gonna be seeing a lot more for, I'm gonna do a bunch of different installations, a bunch of different product reviews related to the Tacoma. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that like button below, it really helps me out. And behind me is the very first product we're going to install and review on this channel for the Toyota Tacoma. So let's take a look. If you haven't already guessed by reading the title of this video, this is the Rough Country Hard Folding Bed Cover. All right, it is a tri-fold design. It's a tonneau cover, but it's also low profile. So it sits in the bed just below the bed line. So it's not like the Toyota manufacturer OEM one that's kind of up high. Um, this one actually sits a little bit lower. It's low profile, so you lose a little bit of cargo space because it's sunken down a little bit. But it's it looks a little bit nicer, and it's also a little bit more secure, and of course, nice hard aluminum. But don't be worried; it is definitely not that heavy, so you don't have to worry about this if it's just you kind of installing it. And also, these are all the parts that come with it. It doesn't look like it's going to take much more than maybe 30, 45 minutes. So let's get this install done. So very first job is to remove this right here. This is actually the header rail, all right? So the reason why we're removing this is to get in here to stick on this 3M, they call it a gasket, and it's just gonna go in there and stick in there, and that's because you're trying to seal up as much water out of this bed cover as possible, and you'll see here in a little bit when we install the rails that come with this cover that the water will actually go into a channel and out some tubes and out the side of the truck, so that's kind of cool. These right here are T30 Torx screws. There are five of them to take off to pull this up and out. So use the proper bit and take your time. They're really stuck in there. there. All right, once you get all five of the screws out, put them somewhere safe and secure. So they won't roll around. And this should pop off just like that. So the whole point of taking this off is this part right here. These little gaskets are more of a rectangle, so just kind of line it up to the edges, fit perfectly like that. Peel off the backing, like so. Line it up very carefully. And press. Very sticky, you don't have to worry about this moving at all. And then do the other side just like that. Toyota actually did put some kind of like cheap, thin weather stripping on the back end here. It looks like nothing fancy, but you can kind of see the remnants of it there. So if you want to clean it up, kind of hold it down a little bit. Totally up to you. But just kind of peeled up. I took her off. So all we do now, put her right in there, nice and snug, just like she was. Get your little bolts again. And just reinstall. Set it, about a 10 on here. You can make adjustments on a lot of these drills to kind of see how much force you want to put on there. And that click you hear means you're at the max and you don't over tighten these. So they don't need to be super tight. So let's get all these in and you're good to go. You can also hand tighten them. 
All right, up next you have this rail. It's already pre-installed on the Tacoma. If you do have the tie downs in here, all you're gonna do is push in right here and this end plug comes out, slides right off, no issues. And you can go ahead and loosen these things up and slide them out. But for the time being, we do have these three aluminum blocks right here. And they're gonna go into this rail, three on each side, just like so. One, two, three. Plug it up, and you can adjust these when we get to this point that we need to screw this in to the rack system. So let's get the other side done. So this next part involves these two side rails right here. And these right here have gaskets on both sides. One side on this side is gonna rest on top of your bed. And this side is gonna be where that cover latches on and is sealed by this gasket up here. And there's also a thick gasket right there. And there are the holes that you're going to be utilizing with those aluminum pieces you just installed. What's also fascinating about this design, and we'll test this theory out hopefully on the next rainstorm, is there is bare aluminum on the inside and it's a channel that goes all the way down there and it comes all the way towards the cab of the truck and into this little hole down there, which is actually a drain hole. All right, we'll talk about that. There is plastic tubing that hooks to here and then goes out the side of your bed and the side of your bed, that hole you have to drill for that drain hole is the only permanent thing you need to do to your truck bed to get this cover installed. So let me show you how this rail goes on. So this is the passenger side of the truck right here. So what you wanna do is have it so the metal is bending towards the outside. So you'll see how it's kind of bending towards the outside. And that big bottom gasket right here is actually the gasket that is going to be going along your top of your truck bed. And you're going to put it on top like that and almost kind of rest there and then push it all the way forward until it goes up against that header that's on the top there, we just put that 3M gasket tape on and it kind of just sits there. All right, so now you can know that you see the holes. All right, so now you have to go and line these up as best you can. because you'll see how this rail is utilized. All right, you'll see the holes there and you're gonna actually have to push this down because this gasket is pretty stiff. So you'll push it down and we'll get the screws to go ahead and thread it into those little holes there. So I'll show you that right now. So this is the cab of the truck right here. You'll see that drain right there we just showed you. And this is just kind of resting on there. There are gaskets up here and the gasket under there, as well as a gasket right here for that cover to rest on. So we'll see how waterproof this system really is. But here's the hole. All right, so I pushed it all the way against this liner right here, this header right there. So what we're gonna do is lift it up just a little bit. It is not very heavy, so don't worry about that. Maybe line that hole up as best you can. Make this job a little easier. You're going to need a half inch socket to go with the bolt that comes with this. And you also need the bigger washer and a crush washer. And how you set it up, take your bolt, crush washer goes on first. Then the big washer right there. Go in that hole. So I can do it one handed, probably not. <laughs> there you go. Easy as that. There's one there. All right, and when you're done, you wanna make sure this is still flush against the cab, let me do the other one. And I'm gonna keep this actually loose, that way if I need to go ahead and wiggle that back block around, I can. So leave this kind of just hand tighten a little bit, leave it a little bit loose right now. So see what I mean? That hole is just a little off, so I can get my finger in there, move that block around, or I can lift it up and just slide this over just a little bit. All right, and get another set of screws there. You only have six sets of this bolt right here. 
So be careful. Don't lose them. And you will need to push this gasket down as you get further down the line. So use your weight. And hand tighten again. There you go. Not too far. So that's why you keep it a little loose. That way you have a chance to find where it is. Last bolt right here. Again, we're going to push it pretty hard down on this one so this bolt goes in. So put some weight on there. Get that gasket sealed up. And I'm sure you can actually do some extra weather stripping if you really wanted this watertight. I'm not too worried about it, but we'll test it out. Test it on some summer, summer storms. All right, see how she does. All right, now you take your half inch socket wrench or just a regular wrench and you're just going to hand tighten. Nothing too crazy with this. You don't want to over tighten it. There you go. driver's side you're literally going to do the exact same thing check to make sure that big gasket is right here on top it's going to rest against the top of the truck bed and then right here this rail is going to be kind of bent curved outward away from the truck and all you do set her on top like so push her all the way down and just check to make sure she's down there you go. Go ahead, get your three screws in, and I'll <laughs> save you the boredom of that. But three more screws, same way like you did the other side. All right, so next we're going to go ahead and lay this tonneau cover on top. All right, so what to do, just grab her like this. Again, not too heavy. Make sure all the weathering along the sides is facing outward and not bunched up underneath. test it now if you want to. Kind of see how she clicks in and there's little pull tabs on each side here. You just pull down. I'll show you guys that in a minute. So once you get this in place, you're going to need to go ahead and grab these four guys right here. All right, the little hand cranks and they're designed to clamp the bottom of the tonneau cover, right here, the trifold cover, clamp it to the bottom of the rail so it's nice and secure and won't go anywhere. And then if you ever need to take it off, it's just a quick little twist like that, and these pop right off. So very nice. And again, it's not super heavy, so it's not too bad. So let's go ahead, get underneath there, get these installed. So before you even do this, make sure this tonneau cover is all the way towards the cab. You want to make sure that weather, weathering is actually surrounding all sides of this tonneau cover. Then take this little guy right here, loosen it up, and you want to go ahead and just slide that squared bolt head right in that little channel. Flat side of this piece is going to be facing inward toward the tonneau cover, and you want to keep it in this little groove right there. See how it kind of slides back and forth? Then this claw piece here, on the end is going to grab on to this little lip right here. All right, then you're just gonna tighten it down. And with four of these cranked down, this thing is not going anywhere. There you go, just so hand tight. Good to go. So she's installed, you can see that weather stripping all around there which is nice. I mean, it's not going to be 100% waterproof, but this is definitely going to help. And then even if water does get in, you have that channel I was showing you that has water going this kind of channel all the way down to the drain. And after we test this out, show you how it functions. We'll do the one sad thing I'm not looking forward to doing, and that's drilling a hole in the bed. <laughs> so let's go ahead. I'll show you. This is a, has one clip on each side. I already unbuckled that one right there. And what this does right here is basically secures it. When you want this folded up, you can ride it on the highway. It's not going anywhere. All right, 
It's heavy enough. I don't think it's going to wobble very much either. Here is the locking points right there. Nice, thick polymer locking points surrounded by, it looks like, some steel brackets. Very nice. So you can go ahead and unbuckle it and have little keepers. You can go ahead and put it right there, or you can use it as a handhold if you'd like. But this is a very much a one-handed operation, which is honestly some of the best part. Just go ahead and drop it once, twice, and she is secured. Tailgate operation. Good to go. Very minimal gap. She looks really, really nice. So, open up the tailgate, and you'll see there is a cable on each side. You can pull either one. They go ahead and actuate both levers at the same time. Each fold has two of those level levers on it. You can reach under here, yank this middle one. All right, lift it down softly. There are pads right there. So don't worry about this damaging. And it's a nice finish on it. Like these are, of course, aluminum, but they have kind of a nice textured black finish to them. And then make sure you secure it back. So now for the fun part, I'm going to take this off real quick now that we know she works and she functions. And we'll take a look at where we're going to drill this hole for the drain. The cool part is this is nice because you can go ahead and loosen this up and then slide these over off that rail and kind of tighten them up just a little bit. Nice place to storm. You don't have to have anything else. One piece design now. You can go ahead and take it off for a while. Put it on whenever you need to. So here's the tubing you get. It's about two feet long, so you have plenty to play with. But basically, it's going to go on the bottom of this drain right here. It's just pretty cheap stuff. You can probably replace this with some good plastic hard tubing or something if you want. But what I'm actually going to do is I checked under the bed, and that's very important because it asks to make sure you check Anywhere you want to drill, it makes you check physically, visually, that there's nothing behind where you're drilling. So if you drill in the base of your bed, make sure there's nothing there. Make sure you're not drilling into the wheel well. You never know what's behind there. Make sure there's no wires in the way. Those kind of things. You can actually go and run this since it's long enough down to the base of your bed. You can go without the drain. It doesn't really matter if you're not planning on using any kind of dry storage back here. We'll see how waterproof this thing actually is. But what I want to do is trim this down equal length on each side and I'm going to run it into the side right below probably about five inches down and the reason being is I checked underneath in the wheel well and you have a metal bracket right there if you hear that well right next to it hollow nothing there and it goes directly down to the front of the wheel well down to the ground so it's a nice minimal thing right here that'll go in and it makes it so you don't get this snag if you're putting gear in here which I do plan on doing so it would be nice to have this out of the way rather than have a nice long tube running around the bed anywhere so let's trim it down to the proper size have two equal sizes we'll measure it down get it drilled it's a 5 8 drill bit First up is the pilot hole. Easy stuff. Make sure you clean up all this plastic shavings when you're done. Now the 5 eighths. Go slow. Take your time. Try not to over penetrate too much in there. So we did pretty good right there. Take your tubing, put it on your drain, twist it on as far as it'll go up to the top. And then the other piece of tubing, and pinch it and push it out just like so. Get a few ribs in there. That'd be perfect. Look at that. Excellent. So 
That is a nice little drain there. Water's gonna come down the gutter here, in the channel there, come down here, and out, and it's even at a slightly downward angle, so there won't be any standing water. Excellent. To the other side, and you're done. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this review and found the install helpful. I'll definitely be testing out how waterproof this really is, as well as does it really help with any kind of miles per gallon. It should help with some of the drag, honestly, with the bed kind of completely covered. It's solid enough. It's going to provide some security. It's not going to be great, but you do have the locking tailgate, so you can go ahead and lock some valuables in here, and there's a good chance this will be a good deterrent because you really would need some nice tools to actually get into one of these. All right, so very nice product by Rough Country. If you, you want to go ahead and pick this up or pick up any of the tools to get this installed, I'll drop some links down below in the description. Most of this stuff is on Amazon. Uh, Rough Country has an Amazon store as well, but this I picked up right off their website. They have free shipping, which is awesome too, and made in the USA, so you can't complain there. If you have any questions at all about the install or the product itself, Hit them in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button, really helps me out. Make sure you head on over to Instagram, follow us there. Like us on Facebook for all the latest and greatest deals on the internet. And I'll see you guys in the next review.